We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Now in the box, Joey Wendell. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Popped him up. Devers over to his right. One away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Hard liner to center field. Pilar is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Up next for the Rays, Austin Meadows. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. On the run, this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. And that misses 2 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, 3 and 2. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. One and one. Here it is. And not a real good cut at that slider. And he's behind one and two. Really starting to pour now. And the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. And it's fouled away. Peraza gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Striding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Runner back safely. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. 
I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the play. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, G Man Choi. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Splitter, two and two. Fouled away. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And another foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 3 1. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Martinez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's 0 for 4. The 1-1 home. Misses, ball two. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he will make the catch here on the edge of the warning track as he was just able to get back there and put it away for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that will bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Swung on and missed. One and two now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Kiermeyer is there. Two gone. Now with the play, Christian Vasquez will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is in there a called strike three. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He went deep in the contest last night. High and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Verdugo. Around first, he's digging for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Into the box now, Mike Zanino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Kevin Kiermeyer waits on deck. This is on the ground over to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Lifted the other way out to left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the run will score as the Rays cash in on an early 1-0 lead. Back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Here it comes on one and one. A ball and two strikes. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. 
This is on the ground over to first. And Moreland will take this one to the bag himself, and the side is retired. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. He'll match up with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. And right into the shift. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. Standing in now, Mitch Moreland. And he fouls this one off. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. The 2-1 home. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. At the plate now, Alex Verdugo. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He set the 2-2. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Xander Bogarts. And he'll be tasked with bringing home the potential tying and go-ahead runs, both of which are standing in scoring position. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kiermaier is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Digging in, Jose Martinez. Flair out toward right center. Pilar moving in. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guys aboard with a base hit. Now back the right field. Austin. At the plate, Austin Meadows. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Even count two balls and two strikes. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 2 2 one more time. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. High and deep to right center. Ranging back is Pilar. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Stepping in now, Brandon Lau. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Three runs, three hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. G-Man Choi the next to hit. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Devers has got it, and that wraps up the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here now is Rafael Devers. Flyed out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. The batter, the center fielder, Kevin. So now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. Ready now, Christian Vasquez. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many. Uh-oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left, hooking, but it's a fair ball, home run. In now, Michael Chavis. And he misses two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Hit in the air to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, and that's the third out. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The count now at two and two. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Standing in, Mike Zanino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ground ball foul down the left side. He'll try it again, three and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. All even now, two and two. Pitch on the way. Still even at two and two. Hit hard up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now back. Designated hitter. Joey Wendell. Into the box now. Joey Wendell fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Looped out toward third. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Next up for the Red Sox, Mitch Moreland looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something to save me. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Mitch Moreland is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. There's ball four. So one gone in the now inning here with the runner at first. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Now a throw over and the runner back safely.
Here's the 1 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. Two gone. So coming to the plate, J.D. Martinez. It was a walk in his last trip. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. And Hernandez will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 63. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in and looking for more. Jose Martinez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The one-two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Now with the plate, Austin Meadows. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. A 1-1. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Popped him up. Peraza is there, and the side is retired. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by... And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Now back, the third baseman. Blake now, Rafael Devers. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw won't get him. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Peter Fairbanks takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. It's a two and two now. But two strikes now and a runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll get a step closer. It's a sack fly to make it a 3-2 to two game now. now that so here's Michael Chavis now. Michael. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Hey. Two out with the man at first. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Heath Hembry is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 37, Heath. So stepping in, G Man Choi, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. to the right into the loaded up infield and the underhanded throw gets him for the out digging in Willie Adamas he got under one and popped out his last time up very tight ball game three to two our score in inning number seven 
count is one and two now. Hembry, a six foot four inch right hander. He was a fifth round pick back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The third baseman, number two. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz. Skied into very shallow right. Verdugo's on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready once again, Mike Zanino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Colin Poche comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Now the one-and-one one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Misses ball two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Jose Peraza. It was a walk in his last trip. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two to two balls and two strikes now he might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two he's already seen the curveball a couple of times so he might be looking for it swung on and lifted in the air to left center and that's into the gap and should be extra bases not in time, and he's in there with a double. To the plate now, Alex Verdugo. It's one and two. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Diego Castillo takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Two out here and a runner at second. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So striding in, Xander Bogarts. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Lau's got it, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. So striding forward now, Kevin Kiermeyer. He singled his last time up. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Four, Swung on and missed that strike two. And a 
full count as that misses. It's three and two now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Kevin Kiermeyer goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Ready with the one and one. Now a ball hits sharply toward third, and that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The back, the left field. So okay. now to the plate, Jose Martinez. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now Digging in now, Austin Meadows. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Oliver Drake is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Rafael Devers. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two balls and a strike now. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he'll try to pull back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Hit the other way out toward right field. Meadows moving back. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Up to the red ball. Into the box now. Christian Vasquez lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Good hard splitter, but it misses two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Full count, three and two. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Hit sharply on the ground. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. He's safe. The throw was offline. And we are tied here in the eighth. Get to the right side. The dedicated hitter, Michael. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. A ball and two strikes now. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Josh Taylor will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Now at the plate, Brandon Lau. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 
1 1. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's 3 and 1. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Ready for another chance. G-Man Choi. Go-ahead run at first. Nobody out. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. So a big moment in the ball game here. Willie Adamas. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Runners are at first and second with one away. Skied into very shallow right. Verdugo in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Zanino. Who could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Lifted in the air to center. Pilar's there. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Set for the bottom of the ninth. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the 3 1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And here's Jose Peraza. Popped him up. Zunino is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Riding in once again, Alex Verdugo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Splitter, two and two. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. J.D. Martinez would be next. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Chaz Rowan takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. J.D. Martinez will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Lifted in the air to right field. Meadows will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. We are into extra innings. Striding into the box, Kevin Kiermeyer. Now the payoff pitch home. an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra now innings. So a runner Ready. at first now with nobody out. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Brandon Workman comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Jose Martinez will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Sacrifice attempt here. 
to second for one. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Digging in to try it again, Austin Meadows. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. One and one. Here it is. Two balls and a strike. No dice on the knuckle curve that time. Three and one. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Three and two, full count. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A one one. He is taken for strike two. And it's fouled away. Swing and a line drive. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now back, the third baseman, Rafael Devers. In now, Rafael Devers. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Rowe has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Popped up. Adamas is there for it. One away. Ready for another shot now, Kevin Pillar. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batting. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Michael Chavis. As he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hard on the ground towards short. Adamas picks it up, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Settling in now, Brandon Lau. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him into the box now. G-Man Choi, 0 for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2-2 one more time. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Peraza takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting, Willie Adamas. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the windup, the 2 1 pitch. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. 
Yandy Diaz would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. The third base. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yandy Diaz. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Jose Alvarado takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Standing in, Mitch Moreland struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Fouled away. surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side and a good throw gets him one gone so the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Peraza two for three with a double on his line so far now the one and one pitch looking at his career totals Peraza is slugging a little under the 400 mark so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time and he lays off ball four so now the potential winning run is aboard at first so a runner at first now with one away. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Possible winning run on first. One man away. Hit hard down the line. And he might have done it. Can they score that runner from first? The relay. And he'll get in there safely. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. The one and one pitch. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. the 2-1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out. A huge punch out there. And the winning run stays anchored in third with two gone now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Lau is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Ryan Brazier gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Onto the 12th frame in this one. Stepping into the box, Mike Zanino. He flew out in his last at bat. This is skied into short left center. Pilar's there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now to the plate, Kevin Kiermaier. A hit in two tries for him so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Joey Wendell digs in now. It was a walk in his last trip. 
swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that'll wind up a foul ball just to the right of Pesky's pole. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Bottom of the 12th inning now. Stepping up now, Kevin Pillar. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. Two and one, the count of Pilar. Smoked on the ground, left side. And this is through in the left, and there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. To plate now, Christian Vasquez, and it's fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Nick Anderson enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. So a big spot here in stepping in, Mitch Moreland. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. One, one pick. And now everybody's running. Oh, and the bunt attempt is missed here. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. The set. And the one-two. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Lau is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So digging in now, Jose Martinez, and looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Fouled away. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Stepping in, Austin Meadows. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Chopped at third, tough to get two. The second for one on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Brendan Lau. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Bogarts has it. One there on to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. Last half of the 13th inning set to go at the plate, Alex Verdugo. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah. 
ball three. Three and two now. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Kiermeyer is there and he has it for the first out. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. Yeah, and he might see another free pass here. If you're going to get beat, it has to be by anybody but this guy. Two and one the count. Now here it comes. Hard liner to center field. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Swung on and missed three and two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Ready with another two-strike offering. Hit hard back up the middle. In there, a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he'll get there at third. And now the winning runs only 90 feet away with just one out. Now batting. Third baseman. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. The one and one pitch. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. The whole ball game comes down to one pitch. Execute a strike, give yourself a chance. Leave it outside the zone. You're going home. Swing and a fly ball. And that should be deep enough to end it. Kiermaier is there. Let's see if they test it. And they will not try it as the winning run has to hold now tight at third. Hector. So coming to the plate, Christian Vasquez as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. Left field and deep. Margo's going back. He's got it as the winning run is stranded to end the inning. Matt Barnes comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. All set to begin the 14th inning at the plate. G-Man Choi. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Striding in, Willie Adamas. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Adamas. The 3 1. One out, nobody on. Strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. One and one. Here it is. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Martinez. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. Up next for Tampa Bay. The catcher. Mike. So now to the plate, Mike Zanino. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And 
and he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Two and two. Here it is. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Brendan McKay is going to finally make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. Brendan on to the bottom of the 14th. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And two and two. Left side of the infield into the shift. Throws in time and that's out number one. Now Stepping into the box, the Mitch pitch. Moreland attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Margo's under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jose Peraza. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the windup, the 1 1. Line drive to left. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 3 10 sign on the monster. Throw into second. And the possible winning run is into second base. He's got a two out double. At the plate now, Alex Verdugo. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Another one sent foul. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Lays off two and two now. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Ready with another two strike offering. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. The set and the 2 2 down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Kiermaier is retired, and there's one away. Striding forward now is the DH, Joey Wendell, and looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Now the 2-1. Oh, okay. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. The left fielder, Manuel Margo. Two and one, here it is. Austin Meadows would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. 
Stepping in, Austin Meadows. He comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. Margo rounds third and is striding for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. The bat, number eight. Standing in now, Brandon Lau. And he chased it in the dirt. Vasquez finds it. And the throw to first ends the inning. Now in the box, J.D. Martinez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Ready on one and two. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Meadows moving back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The so here's the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogart. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And there's ball two now. Three and one. Kevin Pillar will be next. Set. Here's the three one. Hit sharply on the ground. There's one. Back to first. A double play. And with that, the ball game is over. It's times like these that I wish we were paid by the inning. The game seemed endless, but the fireworks in the top of the 15th were enough to decide it. And they hang on for the nice road win. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Brendan McKay gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays: four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Red Sox, three runs, 16 hits, no errors. They left 22 runners on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and two minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.